I'll start by telling you a little bit about myself. It is nice to be here in Florida because I actually spent several years here in Florida. Uh, I love it here. It is always a treat to be back. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about my history first. I, uh, I'm actually not supposed to be in this country. Uh, <laughs> I'm here legally, don't worry. <laughs> uh, here's the story. I, well, I used to ask the audience, can you, can you guess, uh, I'm, I'm an immigrant, my family's immigrants. Can you, I would used to ask, can you tell what country I'm from? But I stopped because not too long ago, a lady was like, Puerto Rico. Wait, I know, that's the dumbest possible. I don't even look Asian. Like, where the hell did she come up with that? Uh, but I'll just go ahead and tell you, I am Scandinavian or Nordic, all right? Yes, uh, my family is from Denmark, Norway, that part of the world. And yes, that means my ancestors were Vikings. That is my lineage, that is my ancestry. And I will tell you right now, that means that whole uh, white guilt thing that people try to push on us doesn't work on me. <laughs> have, you, have you heard of that, the white guilt? It's usually other white people that tell us that we need to feel guilty for being white because of the sins our ancestors did, such as slavery, right? Yeah, it doesn't work on me, all right? First of all, my family only moved to this country in the 70s. <laughs> Second of all, my ancestors were Vikings. Yeah, we did slavery and all that, but we enslaved white Europeans, so you're welcome, <laughs> all right? We, we're out there doing the Lord's work. That's what we were doing. <laughs> anyway, my family moved around quite a bit. They ended up in Canada, then Mexico, then back in Canada. And then for most of my childhood, I grew up in a beautiful area known as the Ozarks. Um, yes, the Ozark Hillbilly country. Yes, that's, that's part of my personality, yeah. And that, and obviously, I'm a big fan of meth. Uh, <laughs> I didn't take it. I still have my own teeth. I, I sold it. That's what I, I sold. Yes. And that's why, after I got married and had kids, I moved to a dark, mysterious land known as Daytona Beach, Florida. Yes. Because I was able to sell meth in the mall. Yeah. I had a booth right next to Wetzel's Pretzels, the very good city council there. So. Uh, but no, I lived here in Florida for 13 years, and I just moved away uh, at the beginning of this year uh, and ended up in a, uh, well, I'll, I'll, don't mean to brag, I live in the Hamptons now. Um, yeah, well, Hampton, Georgia. Uh, <laughs> close enough, right, yeah. Here's the thing, I love Florida and I love where I live now. Uh, I've learned something though. After living here for 13 years, I figured, you know, I was pretty much a Floridian then I moved to Georgia. That's just across the border. That's the next state. I thought they were going to be the same, right? Turns out, and I hate to tell you folks this, the rest of the country, they're not big fans of Florida. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. I tell folks I just moved from Florida. They're like, oh, I hate Florida. I can't stand the weather there. I can't stand the people there. I can't stand the government there. And I can't wait to move there. <laughs>